um, just needed to replace this and uh, probably save myself a couple hundred bucks. Welcome back guys. So the other day I was on the highway and I uh, I lost uh, power and not power because of the motor but I lost my uh, my throttle uh, pedal and uh, I, I automatically assumed that it might have been the cable just because I've had classic cars in the past and uh, as soon as the cable goes out I mean you pretty much the car was on the RPMs were showing but no uh, no pedal at all. Um, so. Uh, what I ended up finding out, I pulled over, right, and, and sure enough, this piece right here, this, uh, I believe it's called a TPS system, the throttle body positioning sensor, which is this, but it's also one piece to the throttle cable. Uh, so this piece, uh, let me see if I can get you guys in closer. You can see this little tear right here, this break on this plastic. So what ended up happening, the cable, uh, it doesn't hold the cable in place, so it busted open. Uh, well, it doesn't hold the cable in place so it just goes like uh, I think you can see it right there can I get it out with one hand yeah here we go now that now that now it's oh there we go so that's what happens it just comes right off so they don't just sell this plastic here unfortunately you're gonna have to purchase the whole well, fortunately I had to go purchase this whole thing here and from the OEM from Toyota this piece itself is about three four hundred dollars and I wasn't gonna about to do that so I ended up picking up this uh, uh, piece right here from Amazon uh, it's uh, sensor lifelong da -da -da. it meets all OEM uh, specs and you all have a link to, the, to this part product on the description below and uh, yeah um, we're gonna go ahead and replace this so this is another I'll show you the piece come on let's go try to do it with one hand it's never good never fun put this over here push this out so this again this is replacing the whole Unit. Let me see it. Let me take it out the back. Alright. Here we go. We got it out of the back. So this unit right here or this piece right here broke off. So this holds it into place. Um, so the little corner chipped off on the OEM one. So this is a brand new um, piece here so we're gonna go ahead and replace this uh, per what I've read it's super easy to install hopefully this doesn't cause or no settings have to be uh, or no adjustments have to be done which I don't think so um, and that's just plug and pay but we do have to remove the air box to make it accessible to get to these three bolts here and uh, yeah let's go ahead and uh, start with this install This piece right here, the way it's shaped, it holds it into place. So once the cable goes in and the little T or little uh, tab falls into place, there's no way of uh, coming off unless you twist it and, and pull the cable out. But this little edge broke on here and you can see it. I'll pull it out and I'll show you. So let's, uh, let's remove this. We're gonna go ahead and unplug it. Oh, no bueno. Damn, this thing just broke. Be very careful with your. Damn. So the the tab broke. Be careful. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be able to stay in place, but just so you know, this stuff is brittle. Sheesh. And so this is part of the cable harness too. So um, I mean, I'm sure I could get this replaced and cut it and, and splice it, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. Just make sure you put the right uh, screw head, uh, a pretty white one, so that you don't strip it. So I was able to save uh, the one that's over here. 
and that completely strip it. We'll compare both to make sure that we got the right unit. It looks to be identical. Uh, I mean, obviously, one OEM Toyota Denso, and the other one isn't. We're gonna connect our airbox back and see if uh, if this is all set up right. Right, the only thing I didn't put was those two bolts just so that I could test and make sure that we have the disconnect, we've connected it and done this right. Let's uh, Let's go ahead and turn it on. I did get a check engine light in, um, something to do with air fuel, so let's try it again. So we didn't install something right because now I don't have throttle. Got throttle there. So I do got throttle. Starts right up. So that was pretty simple, pretty basic. So hopefully, if uh, all works well, I mean, hopefully all works well. We do have the pedal again so we're gonna go ahead and button this up hope you guys like this video uh, again I'm not a mechanic I don't claim to be um, just needed to replace this and uh, probably save myself a couple hundred bucks uh, but there's the piece that was broken right at the little corner hit a subscribe and a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next video